Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. If you would like to give a 10-minute lightning talk, please email me at joe at nomadphp.com. Right now we have Gareth, Ev Gareth Evans, and he will be talking about PHP and enums. Uh, Gareth, let me swap slides and take it away. There you are. Perfect. Thanks, Joe. Um, hey, everyone. I'm Gareth. Uh, I'm going to talk you through a short talk on uh, PHP and enums. So firstly, what is an enum? Um, if you go into Wikipedia, it's going to give you the enumerated type page and it's going to tell you that a data type consisting of a set of named values called elements, members or enumerators. Um, so what does that really mean? Well, you can throw a few different ideas. It's, it's a collection, um, a logical grouping of things, um, it's also a data type in some languages, if we look at Java and C Sharp, but in PHP it is not a data type, so that's kind of where we have to think outside the box a bit. Um, if we consider days of the week, the idea of days of the week, that's, that's our enum, and our Monday, Tuesday, um, there are enumerators. Um, and to try and get to an example of where you might use an enum in PHP, I'm going to start with couple of examples um, where you might have already written code yourself um, that represents a data structure where enums might come into play, uh, but you may not have used them already. Um, so the idea of the example is if you think of a user model where you have a state on that user, so maybe they could be active or suspended, um, and we're going to work through a couple of ideas with that. So this is our really slim user model where we can set the state. So at the top of the class, we have an array of allowed states, um, and they're all integers. We imagine we're storing them in a database somewhere. Uh, and in our set state method, you're able to uh, validate the state that you're sending to the method against that array. Throw an exception if someone's from a set state that it isn't allowed. Uh, and then you can go off and do whatever you need to do with your model. So if you were to use this uh, in the rest of your application, uh, first, if you're using it incorrectly, you're going to get your invalid argument exception. Uh, and then secondly, using it correctly, you might set the state to nine. Um, now, anybody with a keen eye might know what state nine is, but already that's a really great example of the, the, the downfall of, of this step. Um, if someone's looking at the application for the first time or you're going back to look at an application that you've written a, a little while ago, you're going to see uh, set state 9 and have absolutely no idea what that is um, without go, doing a bit of digging. So the first iteration of improvement, you might go and use some constants. Um, we'll go a little step further and actually make a user state object. So we've got a few constants that allow us to represent our integers um, and handy little is a valid method just so we can validate the, the, the constants that we have available. So our user model, after it's been refined a little bit, we've lost that validation array but the method itself is still pretty much the same. Um, so once we pass the parameter into set state we can then check is valid and the same again if anything goes wrong we throw an invalid argument exception. So the incorrect usage, we get our exception. And second, the correct usage, we now have our user state constants getting set through, uh, sent through to the method. So what we've really done is improved on the readability really quickly. Um, and anyone looking at that code now is going to know what's going on without having to do any extra groundwork. Um, but with enums, we can take this one step further. And our base on the SPL enum object for now, which we'll look at in a second. And we have our user state enum, much like our user state class we had with just with the constants and the validation method. Um, we have an extra constant of default, which is a requirement of the SPL enum object, but we've gotten rid of our validate method. So our, our, our model is now really, really slimmed down. And you see that we're type hinting on the set state method. So we've got no more validation in the, in the model and a really, really, two really thin layers that allow us to pass that enum through. 
And if we were to use that, again, if we're using it incorrectly, we're going to have a different sort of error. We're going to get a catchable fatal error um, purely because of an out type hinting rather than depending on the uh, invalid argument exception being thrown. And using it correctly, the first set state is how SPL enum works out of the box. So you can instantiate a new user state enum object and construct it with one of the constants that's available through that object. Uh, the second set state is an example of a sort of a little thin layer of improvement you could do. So if you were to uh, have a little static method uh, override allows you to call suspended and that will instantiate the object return it for you. It just takes a bit of the ugliness of the full instantiation away. So what we've done really quickly in a couple of steps is move from something that isn't really logical in a big system. It's going to kind of confuse people, make life difficult to something that is a lot cleaner, uh, easy to read, easy to understand. And it's type hinted. So if you're in your ID, uh, it might already it might already throw that up for you. So you know exactly what object to pass in. So you don't even need to go looking for your user state or enum object. Um, so they're the, they're the really big benefits inside your application. I mean, this can work in a few different areas as well. Um, if you're writing a REST client or any sort of HTTP application, you could have an enum that's representing your verbs, your get, post, and suddenly you get rid of those unwanted integers and strings from your application. Um, I think anyone who's had random strings spread through a large application would agree that changing some of that is quite a pain at times. So how can you start using enums today? I guess the best documentation, and I'm not saying it's good, it's pretty thin, but the the, the best known is the SPL enum type, which is the uh, SPL enum object, which is uh, part of the SPL type family, and that's available for people to use. Um, and if we look at its interface, as you'd see on php.net, it's really, really simple. You've got your constructor, which takes the initial value, the strict bool you can kind of ignore, that's just, that, that comes along with the SPL type object, it doesn't have any uh, implications with the SPL enum, and you have your get const list method which allows you to get a list of uh, the constants that are available. So if you're maybe doing some sort of admin UI, you might use that to get all the right values into a drop down or something similar. So to get that enum into your project, the SPL enum object, you're going to have to install with Peckle. Um, now, personally, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to agree that that's getting moved away from and that's a dependency that's not as easy to maintain as others. But there are other ways to start using enums. There are a few packages around, um, some really good ones and some okay ones. Uh, and they can be used up and running and they're thin and quick and they're, they're very easy. The couple of examples I've put in, the first one is actually my own. Um, and I put it in there as a comparison. Uh, what it does is use reflection to work identically to the SPL enum object. So it will throw the same exceptions, take the same parameters. And if that SPL enum object is available, it'll actually fall back to that rather than do the reflection. So if you've written um, may end up on different servers used by different people and you want to use enums, you might think out of the box you'll use a library. But then if the SPL enum object's there, you take the advantage of um, the benefits you get from speed. Uh, the second library is really, really good. Uh, I'll be honest, it's better than mine. It doesn't have the SPL enum sort of support, but it's really well written and it's, it um, supports all the other SPL type objects as well. It's definitely worth having a look at. Um, so hopefully that's given you a really quick intro to uh, enums in PHP, how you can use them, where you might use them. And yeah, if you have any questions, please throw them to IRC.
Thank you. Looks very like much. we don't have any questions. Uh, please make sure you check out Join Den and leave Gareth and Max some feedback. Uh, thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you would like to give a Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com.